at YouTube, TG Mods here today, and um, look, today we're going to be making a fire effect in Photoshop as the one shown in the signature just here, you see along the bar there. Um, make sure that you're, you're going to make a new document, make sure it's in RGB color mode. Um, that's pretty much it. When, I'm just going to name it Fire Tutorial or Fire Talk. A bit of a fail typing right here. Um, we've made about 400 by 400. It can be any size, it doesn't need to be a new image, it can be a new layer as shown in the signature. Alright, so I'm just going to set my color to black for the moment. Um, I can use a rectangular or the rounded rectangle tool and make a shape something like this. It doesn't need to be, it can be square, rectangle, or whatever, just for the purpose of what I'll be showing you. It's like that. Now we're going to right click on the layer, hit rasterize, then we're going to go up to filter, then stylize, wind, right down the bottom. We're going to make sure it's on wind, and we can choose either from the right or from the left, it doesn't really matter. Okay, and then hit control F to redo the process. Okay, I'm going then, you don't need to, so as I did, I thought it was best. If you're using something bigger, you normally would do it twice. I'm going to rotate the layer so that all of the sticky uppy bits are on top. Just going to move that into the center of my screen. I'm going to go filter again. Liquify this time. And use a brush size about between 10 and 30. I used about 20 for here. Um, and this is just making sort of like the fire itself at this stage. Um, this also can be used to make smoke, it all just depends on how you colour it and how much you blur it later on. Um, yeah, so just a recap, um, pretty much you make the shape, you need to resize. When I um, used the wind effect, I only did it once because it was such a skinny piece. Um, if it's wider, you'd normally do it twice or even three times if you really want to, depending on how big you wanted your flames to be. But I'm happy with that now. So I'm then going to go and do put, no, I'm going to go filter, sorry, blur, use a Gaussian blur, a one pixel Gaussian blur, just to start. And then going to duplicate this layer three times, or twice. So we have three copies. Okay, hide the top two layers, so we've just got our original layer. Go image adjustments, hue and saturation, make sure colorize is on. And choose a color, I've used sort of a orangey, a deep orangey red. You see here, saturation's on full, it's sort of a reddy orange as my back layer. It's usually a bit darker, your back layer. A bit of a deeper color. And we'll hide, unhide the second layer. Image adjustments, hue and saturation. Um, make sure colorize is on. And picking a yellower color with my saturation fully up, my lightness just a bit lighter this time. Still, still a deepish color, but lighter than last time. And yellow itself is a lighter color than the red that we had before, so that'll show through. Now we go to um, un oh, unhide our top layer, select it, filter, blur, Gaussian blur again. And this time turn it up to 7 or 8 pixels. Then click on that and go layer style and choose overlay. And that is essentially your fire right there. Um, just for the sake of the tutorial, show you what you can do. I'll just uh, put some text on it. Whatever. So essentially that is the fire itself right there. You, as you can see, that could be made to smoke quite easily. Um, I just use probably blur the layer a bit more, um, blur it a bit more, and yeah, make the color grayscaled. And probably when you liquefy it, use the wind tool a bit more and liquefy it um, into more of a smoky shape. So that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, DJ Miles.